Since how how much are you worth now? Like, hmm. how much do you have in your account? If you are trying to sell me, my worth would be actually worth the president. I'm worth. Oh, in fact, I can say I'm worth the whole Ghana. And more than that, in addition, I can be worth the whole world. Not because of the money that I'm having, but because of the knowledge that is up here. In Okay, tech. What, what do you know about technology? Well, technology is the cutting edge of the world that helps you to assist. On the contrary, technology helps life to be more easier. If you want food, you can order. Tech makes everything more simpler. What do you have in that, 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 that bag, that briefcase? What do you have in there? This briefcase holds one of the best items that I hold, which is obviously tech. My... Gaming controllers. Should I introduce them to the camera? Yes. Okay, guys, this is the first one, which is the Radio Fly controller, which uses batteries, flies a drone. And I've always tried to turn this controller into a gaming controller to can control a game or something. Which but game? Or is it universal? No, it just works for the drone. Which, okay, so for your drone? Yes, which is just so annoying. It has batteries like the original Xbox Elite. Yeah, I say Elite. The Xbox controller that comes when you just buy it. Like the 360, Xbox Series S and X. And my favorite original PlayStation controller. Sadly, I don't have a computer. I don't have a PC to play games on. Just my phone. And so PC. you control with this? I play on the PS5. One of the best and elusive gaming Consoles of all time, and this is the I think midnight purple color. You buy it separately. I think this would be sold at um, two hundred bucks or maybe even hundred. Hundred dollars. Yes, this is my AirPods. It's not charged. Yes. And you have an is that is that an iPad? It's a tab Samsung tablet, and this tablet has just so many problems. Should the I? Samsung tablet has problems. Yes. How do you know? You can charge this for three hours. When you come back, it's about, it's about how do I say, 80 something percent. When I'm talking about 80, it's now even getting to 80. And it's just so annoying that the screen is not even strong. It gets cracks as soon as you even patch it. And it just starts falling out. I don't have a computer my whole life. I've wanted one. So if any tech company sees me, this video and they want to give me a computer please i'll be delighted to collect a macbook or any other computer now this has just so many problems like number one it lags it glitches it just lags so much like the lagging is like the most popular thing about it and the time it uses to boot is just so annoying it like it takes like 500 hours to boot 500 hours I'm just kidding. I'm exaggerating. <laughs> it takes a very long time to boot. And I'm surprised for a tablet that uses USB-C connection to Type charge. Type-C. Yes, USB-C to charge. And it just Type-C and it uses to charge. But still, it doesn't even charge fast. I don't know if I need to use it. Is, is, is it not from your charger? It is, but it doesn't have fast charger. I think it has, but it's still not that fast iPad is always going to rule Samsung because of how revolutionary it is and how better it just works. Now, mm. what they do is that they make it look like they are like rivaling rivalry with Apple, but they actually don't. The secret behind their tablets is that when you buy a tablet from them and it's not from the S1 to S9 and it's a Galaxy tab, you you might receive some of these problems as in lag and you will change so many screen protectors and it's going to end up making your phone bad i'm not trying to say android or samsung are not that good at making phones they are one of the best but this tablet for sure i used to use one that was not even as good as this but it never lagged so it could be that the more they keep on creating tablets, the more 
problems are rather getting more. So we are just getting problems instead. So of they should stop going into tablets and focus on phones. They should continue going into tablets, but fixing the problems is what I care about. Because I'm not going to say their tablets are bad in a way, but I only say that tablets are bad if I have used it <clears throat> for a long period of time and I say it's bad. I've used the first one and the first one did not lag for me at all, which was not even as good as this. But this just out of nowhere started lagging. In just 30 minutes, it could just charge up 200%. As to we speak, it's dead and the screen is even coming off and it's not that clean and for you sake, you can just change the screen protector in just less than one week or just one day. The screen protector just starts It means that you, you don't buy the original screen protectors. I rather think it's what they have done because that one, I, you bought the screen protectors from the same place and didn't get that problem. Could it that be they changed it? But for what I'm trying to say is that their tablets are perfect, but not perfect as in perfect because their tablets have problems that have been solved in the future with the S8, S9, S1, the Samsung Galaxy tabs. Have you, have, you, have you heard of the new iPhone uh, 14? It, the 14 was very good when it came out. I heard very good things about it. But the 15 has now come out, which has Dynamic Island and has a new titanium button here. Instead of the silence button, it has a new button, which can do all sorts of stuff. So with pressing it, you can press it and use your finger to just keep on swiping on it. And it just has so much features. And Dynamic Island, you can just store your apps up there. It's like the notch that you see up here. Okay which is here, becomes a little bit bigger and becomes digital. So once it's digital, you can keep apps on that, which is going to be just extremely better than how it is now with no dynamics. So you think people should go in for the iPhone 15? For something that you get for about 700 bucks, I don't usually, I won't usually say you should just go in by getting it. In Ghana, getting it is not going to be such a good idea because... I heard on the news that it's seven hundred dollars, seven hundred and ninety-nine dollars, which should be eight to nine thousand. But Ghana is going to sell it to eighteen to twenty thousand Ghana cities. That's just too insane for a phone. A metal piece that has just good features should not be sold at that price. I'm not trying to say their price is bad, but they should follow the price that is gone going with. I don't know what is it about you and Apple products. Apple products are just too good. Android is good, but the f phone or tablet you can say I use the most is this. It has been good for me for seven, three years now. And I started getting problems last year. I mean, this tablet started getting problems as in your Bluetooth to automatically be turning off and on. So if you just connect to the something to just start on going on on off on off on and it doesn't see wi-fi connections anymore it won't see the wi-fi connections so if you are connecting to even your controller to play a game on it's not going to work at all and it's just going to get worse what what you are using an iphone right yes and this is the apple watch and what i can say about the apple watch series 7 is that it's totally bad it's not durable at all and it doesn't last for long, but from the new ones that are coming out, like the Apple... This is what? A Apple iPhone, what? Apple Watch Series 7. And what does it do? Is it just like the normal watch? It's a high-performance phone, in a way. You can say a lot of YouTubers have had problems with the Series 7, and you want to know why. Tell because me Because it's totally not durable. You can see I've had this for about just one year and the screen is just getting t totally scratched up and the thing about it is that it just starts getting wrecked and dirty at a time it's not supposed to be Wait, i'm trying to pull this off okay i've gotten this off so this is the watch which is selling about 300 
3,000 cities. Yes, for this watch. Who and bought it for you? Mommy bought it for me. Oh, okay. It was a birthday present. And your iPhone? Is it iPhone 11? 13. 13. Also a birthday present. Wow, so it means at your birthday, anytime you celebrate your birthday, you get something new. Yes, that has to be the rules of my birthday. And how is your performance in school like? My performance in school, <coughs> it's okay. But for what I can say is that Ghana's educational system, too many problems I can comprehend. What, what, what are some of the problems with uh, the educational system here in Ghana? Ghana's educational system has number one. What all of we hate is that the students don't get to engage themselves with tech. <coughs> Some schools, their children are allowed to engage themselves with tech to the extent that they know how to use ICT tools. In Ghana, you go to a school and the lab, you only go there when you keep quiet. Who wants to do that? The lab, you you are supposed to go to the lab when you want to go to the lab and do your research. If you want to play a game, you play a game. If you want to bring your phone, you bring your phone. In Ghana, if you bring, they seize it. And do you know why? Because they want it to be a strict school like how our Amamre was strict, which doesn't treat in any other topic because when you grow up and you don't have time for calculation it's the phone you use as i speak people are in my school they don't know how to use the calculator but how would they learn if you never engage them with tech so you think it's a problem for our educational system yes it's we a should ch- school children should be allowed to bring phones yes and laptops and they should learn with it and do things i know you say bringing tech to school they'll play game and stuff they play game and then don't learn. They play game, they don't learn. When they keep on playing game and don't learn, when they are about writing an exam, they write their exam on a sheet of paper, and that is where where you didn't learn. Next time you will learn, or it's not going to be like that. Next time you don't learn. That so you think we shouldn't restrict any people should be allowed to be free in school? Not totally free, like someone can just do anything as in take free snacks, take free days. No, I mean, tech should be allowed in school. And children should be allowed to go and research on stuff and write, type it down and bring it. People are supposed to be able to do that. American schools, people in class three are doing all of this. But when we are trying to say Ghana school is not good, then they are like, Ghana school is good. Whilst Ghana school is getting problems, one, because they're because you don't allow tech to be brought in schools. Tech is not brought. So you have a problem with that. Everyone has to have a problem with that. Everyone will be happy if tech will be allowed. And if everyone is happy, everyone is going to learn. Is there is there a subject you are learning now that you think we shouldn't be even teaching people in school? Is there any subject? Hmm. For me, I think subjects that would not be used in the future should not be used. And text should be allowed in school. You sit in your class, you type something down, your fingers get to understand more than you holding a pencil, and then your pencil or your pen will just your pen will just always start to float. You have to waste money on buying a pen, a pen, a pen, a pen. I don't have pen, but your keyboard is never going to just vanish out of nowhere. So in conclusion, text should be allowed in school. Once in a while, we should write some home notes. But there are some notes, as in, I think, there's a note where you can just write, and it feels like paper when you're writing with it. You just store everything in the cloud. So when you want to access your notes, you can just use that. And it's better than when you are keeping it, you can just add a me- more memory cards. But better than you keeping on to buy a book. And books, when you are buying all of those books, they will be more expensive expensive than buying a cheap memory card am i lying do you have plans of inventing something in future i've always wanted to invent um solar gaming like cloud gaming but on a own a console like playstation has its own but i don't think other gaming consoles like the wii game console and stuff so you want to invent that thing it will just be something software which people can play their games mobile, like a game like Fortnite, you can't get it on your phone. A game like Forza Horizon, you can't get it on your phone. There are so many games you can't get on your phone, but with solar gaming, you can use the solar panel, 
which will be on your computer to energize it by charging it and giving it enough nutrients like the human beings power to do it i'm not trying to say your <laughs> computer will have solar panels big one behind it like this and then you are going to collect nutrients i'm trying to say that it's going to store everything in the cloud okay That's, there's something going to be called the sun we have the cloud we don't have the sun so when you bring solar game you have the cloud but everything is stored in this do you want to be a doctor in future or i don't know what you want to be in future I want to be a youtuber that is what you want to be in future mm-hmm. okay a youtuber yes teaching about tech yes that is all you want to be in future i want to be a youtuber maybe a musician and even a gamer i can game and stream and people who are new will come and learn people really like those kind of things but what i don't like is you buy a gaming console that does not include batteries but you can't charge it that is one of your problems when you buy a charger a charger can last for years and years and years but don't you want to be a doctor in future no it's boring you have to do surgery and all of those stuff people can do that but not me Batteries are very uh, cheap, but the thing is that it doesn't last. Nope. The battery. So you want to be a tech expert, or yes, you you do reviews about technologies. Yes. So something like this. So at least have a USB C or Type A port for charging, so you can. Even at least but Adipa, you need to accept it that this is somebody's inventions. This is somebody's product. Yes. He or she has decided that with this product, I don't want you to charge it. I want you to buy batteries. Why don't you accept it? I won't accept it because a lot of people will have problems. And when you're going on YouTube, you see people complaining about this most of the time that you have to add that, you have to add that, and you have to add that. Because when you're flying your drone, and for instance, water is, is raining, your drone cannot survive. But when it's having batteries, the batteries will just malfunction and your drone will also not last. This is the head. The drone is the toe. Without your, your head, your toes won't move. So it means when the batteries are disabled like this and your drone is mid-air flying, and you even get a notification when it's about to go off. So you can bring it down. But batteries, when you're having a battery, they will never give you a notification. Your battery is about to blow, so do this. And even if they did that, the controller is also going to blow up too. Adipa, looking at the things you have, you are very rich. Okay, I can say I am very rich. Or I am very lucky. Explain these two things. I said you are very rich. And you're saying you are rich, you are lucky. What does it mean? I'm lucky in a way that people are rich, but they don't have this stuff. People are poor, but they have this stuff. Because they are poor, but they are lucky. People dash them this stuff. And I can say that this Apple Watch, yeah, it was my luck. And some people for their birthday, they can get tech, but not exact tech as they want. But how much? How much do you have? Do you have money? Mm, to say in account money, I have a lot. In your account? Yes, I have a lot. Since how how much are you worth now? Like, mm. how much do you have in your account? If you are trying to sell me, my worth will be actually worth the president. I'm worth, in fact, I can say I'm worth the whole Ghana. And more than that, in addition, I can be worth the whole world. Not because of the money that I'm having, but because of the knowledge that is up here in addition. And because of the qualities and the features and the special tricks I have, I'm not worth just what's in my account. I'm worth plus what's in my account, making me a unique piece of cash already. Adipa, if someone wants to pick you up and um, make you a brand ambassador of any tech, technology or any anything any gadget are you ready to do that i'm at any time ready to do any of those stuff the, the money should be huge oh the money i don't really care about the money i care about what i'm getting if it's good tech i'm taking the good tech i'm not buying any piece of radios and stuff <laughs> i'll be an ambassador of radio but only a radio does good tech 
if it's worth a lot, I'm in it. I'm in items that are good, like the Microsoft Surface Studio. That laptop is just so broken. When I say broken, it means that thing is just so overpowered for gaming. It is just the best. Your favorite food? My favorite food. My favorite food is boiled slash fried yam slash chicken slash pepper slash raw vegetables or egg. You have a favorite drink? For me, I'll say freshly squeezed orange juice would be my favorite drink. <laughs> you don't like sobolo? Mm, <laughs> I don't like those drinks. You don't like sobolo? Beetroots? Mm, I like some of I like some of the sobolo that people make. If it's sobolo sold at a fast area where they are always busy, I'm not going to do it like a school. You can never guarantee getting a school that you get precisely the, the one of the best food you get at home because the school is already running to teach you. So they don't care about your stomach or anything. They just care about giving you something to last you the day when you get home and then you can eat something. <laughs> they don't care if you get home and you don't eat nothing. If you eat the air, it's your own problem. <laughs> so you take your own food to school? Yes. You have your own food? You don't eat from the school's canteen or something? The school's food. Talk to the mic. I would say that the school food, to me, there are some problems with it. Not that my school's food has problems. Okay. That you cannot exactly be sure what's in that food could be exactly like you could be allergic to anything. It means you are very selective when it comes to food. I'm very selective when I come to everything. When I'm coming to get a new tablet, I'm selective about that. Getting a laptop, I'm selective about everything. Are you selective about your friends? I'm selective about some of my friends. If you are a nice friend, I'm not actually selective about my friends, but if you are, I can see you have the qualities of me. You deserve to be my friend. Weekends, when you wake up early in the morning, what do you do? I just want to be in bed for a while, rest, sleep some, maybe nine o'clock, I'm awake, maybe brush my teeth, wake up. Read a book, something, eat, walk around. Weekends, I've seen you a couple of times swimming. You I love like to swim. swim. I'm a Pisces. We like water. You are what? Pisces. I'm a match bone. Match bones, they like water. Yes. And who told you that? I know. Why? Are you from the water? Are you from the sea? I won't technically say I'm from the sea, but I am from the sea. So you like water? Not like any kind of manufactured water. Like a lot of water has different tastes. So you are selective even about the water? Yes. If I'm going to a very big place, I'll collect bottled water. But if I'm at home, pure water for sure. No tap. No, 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 no tap. I don't take tap anymore. I saw a video of you performing in school. Yes, that was one of my legendary performances. Um, the school really likes me performing, so I thought I can do one performance for the school. I think your mom told you not to perform in school. That she was like, she doesn't want me to get hurt if people don't like my performance, but everyone is going to like it because I know the outcome of what I'm going to do. Who is your favorite musician currently here in Ghana? Not I have Black Sheriff and Benna Boy as my favorite musicians, but Mommy Miss Bell is my favorite musician. Yes, she's my favorite musician. Who? Your mom? Yes. Is your favorite musician. You oh, you keep talking about Black Sheriff. Have you met him before? Once, yes. You want to meet him again? Mm, not really, but I would like to meet him again. What is it about Black Sharif? His songs are inspiring and educative and teach about things he has gone through, which really makes sense more than a song that he just makes up words in just to create a nice lyrics, which is actually not that fair, just to make up words and sound good in the ear. So just that, oh, yeah, this song is good. No, the song has to give you a message. And if that message is correct, you will like that song. 
Okonfo Black. <laughs> currently, the iPhone user here. Mm-hmm. Is that currently what? The iPhone user. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the next two or three years, I'll switch to Samsung. If their phones get better, but I think I'll stick with this for now. But do you believe Jesus Christ once came, lived, he was... Uh, his mother was uh, Mary and Father Joseph. No, I don't. Have you been to Sunday school before? No. I don't really remember that. But to me, none of those things are ever going to happen. And if it does happen, I'll be there to ask and judge so many questions. Doesn't give me the answer, and I even still see him. I'm still not going to believe it's him. You don't believe in heaven, you don't believe in hell. I believe that you go where you want to go, and there's no one who has ever gone to hell before. But what, what of heaven? People who believe they'll go to heaven, go to heaven. Those who believe they'll go to a place where there's going to be fire and hell is hell. So you believe there is going to be fire? There is a fire somewhere? Obviously, when you're going to be tortured, there's going to be a flame. And it's going to be your last moment. So you have, obviously, there's going to have to be fire. And anyone who's going to plan on killing you without showing their face is obviously going to be smoking fire. So I believe technically there's going to be fire over there. Adipa, do you, do, you, do you see yourself becoming a prophet or a pastor one day? I do not. I see myself as becoming the greatest gamer slash YouTuber in the world. <laughs> Anyways, if any tech company sees me, want to sponsor me, I'm all yes. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the golden opportunity. I've been ready for this since I was five years old. And I need sponsors. Please. This needs to happen quick. And if I get a sponsor, I might even give away my Apple Watch. I might. When you get a sponsor? Just one. I might give this away. Okay. Adipa, we, uh, so how do you want me to address you? Comfort Black? Which, which of them? How do you want me to address you? Aaron. Aaron is in the Bible. Yeah, but I know that that name, obviously, is just the name put there. But that name is a title given a- to me. Aaron is a title. Yes. Names are actually just words put on a person to give that person a reference or a title. Because I know Aaron in the Bible. Yep. Uh-huh. And you are telling me you don't believe the Bible. Yes. So why are you using a name in the Bible? If you don't believe and you think that the, the one who wrote the Bible, you... The person could be blind and... And for I say that because I never named myself. And it could be that time my parents were Christians at that time. It could also be that time that I never read the Bible, so I never knew. Or it could also be that that name was not from the Bible. No one knows how long Aaron was there. Does it mean there is going to be a day you are going to change that name, Aaron? Because it's in the Bible and you don't believe in the Bible. I'm not going to change that name. But we never knew if it was there before the Bible arrival. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. So you can't justify me about that. You okay. can't judge me. Now you say my waga. I <laughs> no, 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 Mr. In we a baby, yes, it's editing. We're editing, be anymore. Please, I want to be controversial. I'll be through it. 
Listen, 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 listen. I did. Shit. On a crutch, let me have my In some of our cow high lady editing, like oh, I need your bed. Let's end, let's end the interview. Okay, so guys, this was hold on. Oh. <laughs> Is shining, your nose will take all the shine. <laughs> Don't do that now. You're acting like a baby all a while ago. You were the no, no, come, let's end it. Let's end it. So, you, you are the superstar. Hey, say, I want to be here so that I will distract you. This interview, eh? I'm, I'm even shocked. Yeah. Okay, this is the podcast by Brian Ma and Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and we are doing this every week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, so so Nana Kwame. We we are going to end the interview. Would that be a part two? Yes, I'll be coming. How often do you want me to be coming here? Mm. Every week is going to be okay. Every week. Uh huh. Let me ask you this. Recently your mom gave birth to a baby girl. Yes. How do you feel? I feel very happy about that. Why you wanted a sister? Yes. Because I see your videos sometimes you are with the baby. You are happy about that? Yes. Oh, okay. 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 So, um, let's end this interview. I don't know what you want to say. Okay, guys. We're about to end the interview for the podcast by Brian Ma and Adipa JC. Please, if you have a sponsor, please sponsor me. I'm re- ready for it at any time, any moment. Even 12 midnight, I'll be ready for that. Okay, guys. We can close this now. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, um... That was a very powerful and nice conversation with um, Okom for Black. Call him Nana Jesse Aaron. He's everything. And um, leave a comment. Uh, you subscribe to the channel. And in case you want to um, support um, Nana Kwame, uh, just hit us, inbox us. You can even leave a comment in the comment section. And I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.